Yo guys, welcome back to another video here on my channel and today we will take a look at how you can improve your Legends League attacks. But before we start, I want to mention that it is obvious that the more accounts you have, the better practice you get. Just for you to know, but with that being said, if you're new to the channel, I would really appreciate if you like and subscribe. And now, have fun with the video. Alright, here on the first base and just to start things off with, um, I failed this base, but I actually will tell you how you can learn from your mistakes. And you can see, I kind of did the normal approach and you will see uh, in the middle, uh, the Lalo will or is very bad played. And you can see, I started very far here on the left side. So right here and you will see I placed my blimp from right here and you can see here is a sweeper and the blimp has a very long range and I did this approach and it actually worked that way but here in this space you will see there is right uh, around the sweeper and by the way I forgot the headhunter in the ability as well um, another small mistake um, but you can see here is the tornado trap as well. So this means that the, that the blimp will definitely uh, not come to the town hall, right? And you, you can see this is a very bad attack. I tried to, I tried to like save it a little bit. Luckily with the Royal Champion and we keep, kept, the say, uh, kept the rage. For the royal champion to get down the town hall at least but you can see this is i would say a very bad attack and this base or a very similar base i actually faced two attacks later again um, here on selenio and you can see it is kind of similar but Every time I miss uh, an attack, I always search what I have done wrong. And like I said in the, in the uh, previous replay, my mistake was probably that I came too far from the, for, from the right side, right? So the blimp had a very long way. And we faced a sweeper, obviously. Um, but I tried to... Um, cover up for my mistake here in this replay and you will see I will play it very similar I mean we get a, a, a little bit more from the saps as you can see you have very good value around here um, but except of that I play it like exactly the same so we can speed uh, things up get everything down and by the way this is this was a very hard sap I would say because you have one tile, two tile, three tile and here one, two. So it is definitely uh, hard to sap. You can see this one is the middle one and these two are the middle twos. So you can just sap here on the middle of everything, in the middle of those two and in the middle of the three tiles and you will get everything. But Further to the Sui, you can see the king exactly the same, the queen exactly the same. And from the value, I would even say we got a little bit less value from the Sui in this replay. Because in the other uh, attack, you had some multi arch towers right here. Um, and I think the eagle was right there as well. So I would say the Sap and the Sui overall got kind of the same value. And you will see that I will now start with the Royal Champion from, from right here. But my Lalo will actually not come from here. Instead, I will play it from here. And this already makes a huge difference. Because I want my Royal Champion to clear out this side right here. This should all be royal champion thing, right? 
And after that, we still have a clear line for our Lalo. I can paint it. And we have this line right here, but we have a way better path for our blimp. And you can see this blimp surely will make it. And even with this invisibility tower, you, uh, you will see right afterwards in a second how I deal with it. But you can see this blimp will definitely arrive. And uh, everything is a little bit smoother. So every time you fail, I can just um, recommend you to take a look at the base. Uh, try to see the things that you have done wrong or maybe even switched up the whole plan. So you can see the blimp arrives at the town hall and you can see the, the poison, uh, the invisibility tower uh, goes off. And the Yetis will obviously go on this wall because there are buildings behind it. Um, but actually you don't need a freeze, you can just rage up the Yetis because they are standing literally next to the town hall. So if the invisibility wears off, the Yeti Mites will easily uh, clear the town hall. And the Royal Champion clears the, uh, the downside right here. And now we can just freeze everything in the backhand. You can see we still have a ton of loons. The tunnel is even going down from the loons. The Yetis didn't quite take it, but they probably would have if the loons wouldn't come in. But you can see this is a, um, a easy three star and it looks way better than the previous one. So you can definitely see I have s uh, or I have saw what my mistake was in the last attack um, and covered it to uh, the next one. So you can see here we got some cups more and the triple, but we still have some other replays. So yeah, here the next base and this is another fail which I failed, you will see right in a second. Um, here it wasn't actually the plan that was wrong, here it was the execution. So I definitely have to say that um, I overall attacked very bad. But I would like to share my mistakes with you so you can make it better than me. But yeah, as I mentioned in my last video, here on this base it is, or I always do the same thing, or at least try. Um, I go for the Rage Tower, the Ricochet Cannon and the Scatter Shot. After, the, uh, after that you can play your King inside this compartment. Um, and the Queen should just come from the top side go for the eagle, right? And after that, you can start with the royal champion from here and with the with the Lalo from the bottom side with a blimp for the town hall that should clear the rest of the base. And if you're lucky, you can actually wall break once right here. And if you're lucky, the, the queen will beat through this wall and get this multi out of the way um, as well. But you will see, I actually did it a little bit wrong and my king actually went the wrong way so you can see the real champion actually pulled the king right here uh, if he's at that spot where he was and uh, when he destroyed the building he should walk upwards but because of the real champion he walked downwards and after that he will go to the um, laboratory and will completely run off and I was kind of stupid uh, I was sending in some funnel troops like wizards and archers but obviously they are too slow I should have just sent it in my uh, my baby dragon with a sneaky goblin for this drill um, and the baby dragon, uh, baby dragon obviously for this one and then I would have probably um, get, uh, get it better um, but yeah I kind of panicked and yeah, you can see I quite didn't got this uh, laboratory down and the king completely went the wrong way. And because of that, the queen uh, didn't got her value too. Um, 
because you see the multi arch tower is uh, on her the expo is on uh, on her so you definitely didn't quite got the value right here right you barely got one compartment you didn't even got the eagle um, and at that point I really tried to recover a little bit because I wanted to just go with the same plan the royal champions would just take out these few buildings um, more and afterwards go to the top and then we can just start with the no normal lol um, but we also went unlucky that the queen didn't even got this multi arch uh, multi uh, multi um, this expo right here um, so the royal champion went the wrong way as well so at that point everything basically went wrong and now I just thought fuck it I'm going with a Lalo from here and a blimp just like this but you will already see that here is a lot of things like you still have the scatter a multi inferno tower you still have the full CC up and you have two sweeper against you and at the back and you have still a poison tower so we'll see this will absolutely uh, not go through and I would say this was probably um, the worst attack that I did in a very very long time and you can see the percentages are very bad and um, to only 80% um, but luckily I found this base um, today again so this replay was yesterday I think um, but we found it today again so we'll take a look how I executed right you see this one right here is not the exactly the same base but I would say it's pretty similar right and what we did like I said we did the exact same plan we went for the scatter the rage tower the uh, multi uh, arch tower after that we went in with the with the king or you can even play the queen right here it doesn't really matter um, for, in for this compartment right here and uh, the king or the queen depending what you place on this side um, for the eagle compartment um, afterwards you can just go with the royal champion from here and the lalo from the bottom again with the blimp uh, that, that, that was not a very good um, but with the blimp here again for the town hall with the rage covering everything in the core um, and you can see I noticed that my king went wrong so what I did from the beginning I just took out this collector and I don't know why I didn't do that in the last uh, attack um, it was kind of stupid but you can see how you can actually learn from these mistakes and only small things like this can decide your whole attack and here you can see the king smoothly goes into the compartment where you want him if you afterwards go for this compartment right here it is fine too so you can see the king even gets the cc so definitely way way better value i think the king only in this in this replay uh, already got more value than the king and the queen in the last one and so yeah you can see now you can just wait a little bit because if you are sending in the royal champion from here you can see this ricochet cannon would deal a lot of damage to her so you can just wait until the queen is tanking the ricochet cannon or maybe can even take it out with ability because here in this replay it is looking very good that she can take down the whole ricochet cannon uh, on her own and uh, you can just pop her And now we can start with the Lalo and a very small detail you can see I start with the Lalo right before the, the Lava Hound uh, I'm sorry the Lava Hound came in right before the air, def air defense dropped and this was 
that the queen will get distracted um, but also you can actually play it a little bit earlier the, the lava hound but this should just be that the lava hound fly right here and afterwards through everything through to the other air defense so the lava hound will tank the inferno tower um, and all air targeting defenses that are right next to it and if you're lucky even the scatter shot which is definitely um, a good case but yeah that was the the main reason why I place the lava hound like this and then you can just come in with some loons from from here that everything will get pushed afterward, uh, afterwards to the monolith and you can already see with that um, Sui this is going through very very quickly and very very easily we still have two hounds up we still have the Royal Champion uh, ability, we still have two freezes, so you can see this is another GG. Alright, so for the last replay for today's video, we will take actually a look at the base which I um, got it first try, what a surprise. Um, but yeah, right here in this base you can see um, it has two main compartments, like this rage tower right here, and the rage tower here on the bottom side um, and in basically all of them or uh, both of them you get good value and what i saw at first is that you get quite a little bit better value here on the top as you can see the expo the ricochet cannon the multi inferno tower and the rage tower are all zappable together um, and I have a lot of questions about the zaps, how I can actually zap, right? Because some zaps can actually be um, pretty channel challenging. Uh, so what I always do is, and yeah, I literally do this in every attack. I just count the tiles between the fur, like the buildings uh, that are the furthest away. So here in this one, it is the Expo and the Ricochet Cannon. So I count the tiles. Here is the first one, here is the second one, and here is the third one, right? So you have three in the direction of the top. And let me do it with a different color. Um, you have this one that is right here um, in um, the top side. So one right here. So this one is not even the hardest set that it is po uh, that is possible, but in cases like this, you just take the middle one, so which is three, uh, means the second and in the middle of the second, um, and obviously in the middle of the first row. So you can see if you are zapping right, I actually think it is like this. I'm sorry, but if you are zapping on this wall right here. Um, you get everything down and yeah so here you got definitely the best value but as I saw this I asked myself what can I do afterwards and basically here in this replay um, I set for pathing which means we will not split the heroes and in cases like this there is only two options the option one is the bottom side the option two is the top side from where the where the queen is and in both sides there is good value that you can get and uh, until now i just tried uh, the one options which is the top side so i didn't try the the lower one but you get definitely good value right here as well you get the queen you get the inferno tower and you get the eagle and the, the multi arch tower and you have not bad pathing afterwards because you can just start the lolo from the bottom the blimp from here um, above the ratio which is definitely um a good way to approach it too but i decided to go for the the other side um and the reason for that was just because of the sweepers you can see this one sweeper kind of annoyed me um, because if you have to come from the side 
from, or, or from the lower side, you will directly face this sweeper right, right here. But if you will um, go from the top, I played the Royal Champion from here and a lot directly into the Rage Top. But like this, you can see the sweeper isn't that big of an issue. But that was just my thinking progress uh, why I went for the, from the top side. So we can speed things up. And by the way, if you are not sure if the queen is going down, um, you can use your king as well. If you place the king right here, um, he will go um, as uh, the same way as the queen will go. I just did with the queen because the queen will get uh, through it quicker and I was pretty sure that the queen will go to the, uh, to the lower side. So now, as we started our um, fall, a uh, very important, and this is the reason why I wanted to show this replay. At that point, probably a lot of people would have popped the king because you have two ice golems and you want to get through these two as quick as possible. But here in this replay, you can see there is no damage on the heroes. So no monolith, and just the wizard tower and the tesla and in cases like this you can just wait with the king ability the king ability is so strong but if like five seconds are just frozen and um, he will lose a lot of value because you can see he will power through this wall right here opens up the compartment to the monolith and we can start with the royal champion just for puffing and for time reasons and with the baby dragon funneling a little bit on the uh, lower side and we can just now start with the Lalo and you can see the uh, phoenix actually take down the sweeper um, but if he wouldn't the queen would be there um, as well but you can see we have now no sweeper against us and we beautifully go with the warden ability into the rage area, which is also very good because you can cover the most of the damage that are going onto the loons. And now basically just simple Lalo. Um, you can basically um, just come from all sides with the loons. It doesn't really matter here, the, the pathing at the end. And because you got it. And I hope this video could uh, help you a little bit and I could show you my mistakes which I try to do more often in the future. If you like things like that definitely let me know down in the comments below or if I just show triples like the last attack. Um, but with that being said I hope you enjoyed. If you did I would really appreciate if you like and subscribe and now peace out.